Confirmation tonight, it was fentanyl found at Brighton Towers where two men died of an overdose and this all triggered a large emergency response. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran live for us outside of Brighton Towers. Iris, were any other drugs or chemicals found there at Brighton Towers? Christy and Jeff, the state crime lab is testing to see if there was anything besides fentanyl. This incident triggered a multi-agency response. State police helping the Syracuse Fire Department confirm a powder discovered on one of the two people found dead in a sixth floor apartment was fentanyl. Chief Michael Mons saying it was isolated to that apartment and there was no concern of it causing an issue to other units on that floor or anywhere in the building. I spoke with a woman who lives here at Brighton Towers and she is still shaking by everything that unfolded yesterday. And she says that you have to be 55 and older to live here. And she and her neighbors are very concerned because drugs have become a big problem. And this neighbor also telling me that people from Skyline Apartments are starting to move here. And that is a concern I brought to Mayor Walsh. I can't speak to whether or not there were any actual tenants from Skyline or any other property that were relocated there. But I think what we're seeing whether it's in our large apartment complexes or our public spaces, these are microcosms of the challenges that we're up against uh, in, in this community. We have uh, an opioid epidemic in this community and in this country. Mayor Walsh says that the opioid epidemic is making its way to residential facilities like the one here behind me. No quick solution, but the city says it is on their radar. The situation here at Brighton Towers making its way to upstate ER when uh, first responders here said that they felt sick. Madison Moore is live at upstate tonight. Madison, do medical professionals believe that these individuals were actually poisoned? No, Iris, they, they don't believe that they were actually poisoned. We spoke with the upstate, uh, the director of upstate's emergency medicine and the assistant director of upstate's poison center. And they both believe that the symptoms that the nine first responders and upstate staff were showing yesterday were actually brought on by a severe stress reaction that was caused by fear. Now, Dr. William Paolo says they've actually never had a situation here in Syracuse where a first responder was poisoned by an opioid just by responding to a call like they did yesterday. And he said it's virtually impossible for it to be spread to others. The hospital says it followed proper protocol yesterday by shutting down the emergency room and decontaminating those thought to have been exposed. All nine people were treated, but none of them were actually admitted to the hospital. Many of them saying their heart rate was elevated and they felt nauseous. The assistant director of toxicology explains what symptoms these people would have been showing if they were in fact exposed. With trace amounts of fentanyl, you might expect potential um, sedation. You could potentially have some changes in your behaviors, behavior, some euphoria. Um, in terms of vital signs, we would expect to see lower heart rates, lower respiratory rates, um, which wasn't something that we necessarily saw yesterday. And the signs and symptoms would be very similar for xylazine, similar for heroin, since they all um, sort of cause a lot of the same effects in the body. And both the doctors want to reiterate that it's not unsafe to treat or help someone that is having an overdose. And Dr. Apollo also clarified that the hospital yesterday was only shut down for ambulances. Ambulances were diverted to other hospitals for that two hour window in the afternoon. And that the patients that were inside the emergency room, they were not asked to leave. And people that were coming in were not asked to leave as well. They were not turned away at the door. Live outside Upstate, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.